those two guys together. Um, for comparisons, now I do have the Kenner versions of these same characters. I don't have all their accessories. Actually, I don't have any accessories for them. But here's a good look at Tessic. Next are the Kenner version. So obviously we went with a brown head here as opposed to, like, I guess some more, what are we going to call that? It's like a brownish, grayish color on there. It could have faded over time just because it is a Kenner figure, but I don't think that it was ever, like, really brown like that one is. And I think that he probably had um, at least a cloak to put on him, but I, you know, I just bought this loose, so I don't know all the ins and outs of him. Um, and then for Reese, I have the OG Reese as well. So this is also a Kenner version of Reese. Let's see if we can get in the stand. A lot of the times with the Kenner ones, their feet are like a little lopsided. Okay, there we go. So you can see the Kenner ones are shorter. And there's those two back next to each other. A uh, very similar outfit. Obviously, they did a little bit more with the belt here. Um, both have decent head sculpts, but like I said, you can see he has like a much rounder head sculpt here, as opposed to there's just like a little bit like thinner, more detailed action going on there. But the Kenner still looks really good. They both have the like really big mitts for hands, which is well executed. I mean, this figure does not look like it's from the, the, the 80s. Yeah, the 80, 83 is when I came out. So it doesn't really look like, you know, it's in decent shape still. Uh, but yeah, so then there's those four guys hanging out. The Kenner versions and the modern versions of Reese and Tessic. Now, 